Hey guys, dude Long Couch here. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Guys, it's time for some hoverboard races. Wish me luck. Bronze Cup. Ready, set, go! Okay. First race is all about just learning the track, right? Not really expecting to win. It'll be great if it happens. What was that? Dude, I unlocked a secret path already. Oh, that was cool. Oh, there's a path up there. Okay, we'll go for that next time. Oh, yeah. I can already tell that this track is way more complicated than the last one. Okay, so we hit all three of these. That opens up the shortcut. What? Yeah, all right. Oh, yes, made it. That was a pretty tricky jump. Oh, shit. Oh, I made it. Yes. Golden screw is mine. This is awesome. Like taking another route. I'm not sure how far ahead I am. I just really hope I don't screw this up. Like I almost did there. Almost jumped right off the damn side. Just keep hitting the boost. Nice and slow. Nice and steady. Nailed it. Ratchet wins. You did it? Oh, congratulations. Here's your hollow guys. Do me a favor. When you use it, post your thoughts on the social medias. The kids love their social medias. Hashtag Gadgetron. That was just painful. <laughs> guys check that out i destroyed the second place guy erwin littleton you suck i beat you by like 38 seconds you got nothing son griff plastax chester st cloud victor equinox and apollo hicks i would say that was a super successful first run alaris come in we've got the hollow guys nice head back to your ship i'm just putting the final touches on our assault plan I'll brief you when you're there. We qualify for the next cup race. Yay. All right. Well, we've made enough progress to satisfy the story requirements, but that's not good enough, is it, guys? Actually, let's go in here and look at our cards. Sandshark Valley and Drac. And 11 duplicates. Holy God. All right, let's look at our new ones. Drek. After Drek's homeworld became uninhabitable, he decided to seal parts of other planets to create a new homeworld for the Blarg. Sounds like a good idea if you're an evil megalomaniac. True story. And... what was it? Sand sharks, right? Where are they? I don't see no sand sharks. Oh, Sand Shark Valley. I think it was this one. Iridia is... <clears throat> Swimming with sand sharks, particularly in the creatively named Sand Shark Valley, where you definitely do not want to go barefoot. I already whooped that place's ass. It don't matter. All right, let's see if we can get some bonus bolts. That's what we want if we're going to be racing. Way to go. A complete set. All right, rare titanium. Can't complain. Can't complain. What else can we finish off? Literally, everything <laughs> requires two, except for the guns down at the bottom. 
Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not going to play that game. I'm going to hold off until I get enough for two more duplicates. Let's see. Okay, right. Races. By all means, race again. Just be sure. Silver Cup, guys. Ready, go! So the tracks usually remain the same. They just add a bunch of, like, explosive boxes and shit to them. Did I go this way before? Ah, that actually didn't work out in my favor. Well, it did. I still got in the lead. I gotta start trying to take that other shortcut, too. It's a really tricky jump, though, so I'm scared to try it. <laughs> I got it the first time. But who knows if I'll always be that successful. That wasn't good. That was actually real, real bad. Hey, look at the floppy fish. I'm not even going to bother with the tricks. All they do is screw you up. And you don't... Yep, I figured that would happen. This one's not going quite so good, guys. This could be problematic. Gotta keep boosting. Be careful. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh that actually. Mm. That's going to set Ratchet back. Yeah, yeah, it is. This race sucks. This isn't gonna. There's no way I'm gonna win this one. If I'm real careful, Ratchet takes the lead. I just gotta hit the boost platforms. Get away from me, dude! No! Oh my god, I actually made it! Ratchet wins. I feel like the game really just took pity on me in that race. <laughs> I beat him by 10 seconds. How? How's that even possible? I, I did so bad. You won! <laughs> of course I knew you would! Congratulations! Great. The galaxy might be in danger, but there's also a gold cup race we could do. Right you are, Ratchets. Alright, well, we're two for two, guys. Let's see if we can pull off a hat trick. Okay, boost this way. I think it's actually better to go that way. Oh, that's... That's... Okay. Putting those boxes right there, that's a dirty trick. <laughs> that's going to make that shortcut real hard to utilize. Of course, it seems like you might not even really need to, honestly. This one... Actually... This one's probably easier in the Gold Cup. Yeah. Alright, that's the new plan. We'll go to the left. We'll try and do this. If you hit the sides, it really fucks you up. Hey, I made it, though. Get in here, boost. Don't hit the... Oh, shit. Oh, there's ex okay. That was, that was. Hmm. They switched the uh, position of the explosive boxes on every single stack. <laughs> that was a real brain twist. 
That's okay, though. I'm doing a lot better than I was at this point in the Silver Cup. Of course, these guys might do better as well, because it's the Gold Cup. That was a poorly timed boost. Ooh. Make it. Yes. Get, get the fuck up there. Ah. I made it, but it kind of fucked me. I made it. Wow, that was nuts. <laughs> All right. Whoa. I won. I, not only did I win, I won by like 38 seconds again. Did I actually lap those guys? Because that's crazy. Top prize. This is the most we can offer without getting approval from our board of directors. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Okay, let's see what we got. Probably a Rhino card, right? Yeah. Rhino 6 Proto Suit. I wonder what that is. I've actually never seen that before. But check it out. We've got uh, we've got eight of the Rhino cards. We only need one more, guys. And the fact that it's the last one in the set indicates that we didn't miss any. There's probably going to be one more on like the, the next planet. Maybe the next planet's the last planet. I don't know. What does this say? You can construct this Proto Suit by finding all of Dr. Croyd's critters and completing his challenges. It was in All for One. That was one of those weird spin-off games that I didn't play. We should head back to the ship. Hmm. All right. Guys, I feel really good. I just did three for three on the hoverboard races. Won them all first time. I don't feel like I should have because I feel like I did really bad. Just like I'm like a really poor racer. <laughs> but somehow it all worked out. All right. So where did it spit us out? Uh, the ship's right up there. We've got, oh, the gold bolt on the map that I looked at earlier was the one in the race. I got you. That's why it's not there anymore. And that's why it's a good thing, actually, that the game didn't let me waste time going back and trying to find it because it just would have been a huge waste of time. <laughs> Turns out I have them all on this planet already. Turn to the ship and contact Dolores. Right. Well, I'd say we thoroughly rocked this planet, guys. I feel pretty good about that. And let's take a look at the skin that we got for our ship. We got Hot Rod. That's kind of awesome. Look at that. It kind of matches a ranger suit. <laughs> That's like my theme. Hot Rod. I love it. And since we got one more bolt on the... Racetrack. Didn't we unlock something else? I already forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, Chrome Tastic. Damn, that looks awesome, too. Oh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I really like that a lot. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I know it, it's kind of lame because we just got the matching ship decal, but I don't care. We don't really ever use our ship. Outside of like those flight sequences, so I'm gonna use this suit because I like this one just a little bit more, honestly. All right, Rangers. I think I have a plan for how to take down the Deplanetars once and for all. By energizing the hollow guys Ratchet and Clank acquired from Gadgetron, they'll actually be able to become Captain Cork for a short period of time. While in disguise, they should be able to get past the Deplanetizer's primary shields. Greetings, citizen. I'm just here to use your weight room. You're clear, Captain. From there, they'll need to access the Deplanetizer's Starcracker room. The Deplanetizer uses a gravity stabilizer to position itself over its target. By extracting the stabilizer, the Deplanetizer will drift off from its target and become vulnerable to our attack. Once Ratchet and Clank give the word, we'll activate our new mag boosters, flip the Deplanetizer, and save the galaxy! Copy that, Alaris. We're on our way.
Ready to fly, just need some coordinates. That actually sounds like a pretty intricate plan. Hmm, okay. So we've got the deplanetizer back on the list. Which is good. I guess we can go in and get that golden screw that we missed before. Now I don't have to eat the game disc. And I think this might be the last section, guys. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this video here. Sorry if it's a little shorter than usual. But in the meantime, I'm actually going to go back and get all the golden screws that I can. It should be pretty easy now with, uh, you know, with the down, map upgrade. There's not much left to do on Iridia. And I'm not going to do it in like an LP format, but I will like record it and just put together a little montage of me picking them up. So you just so you can see where they are. And then uh, we'll go over the unlocks when we get back for real. And then we'll proceed with the deplanetizer. So that's the plan. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Much love to all y'all. I'm Dude Long Couch. And I'll catch you guys in the next part. Goodbye.